PRRT in the first line, maybe like quickly, when do you think about it? Um, so the Netter 2 trial studied PRRT in the front line compared to a somatostatin analog in patients which were, it was a mid net study, but, or, and also pancreatic, they used both pancreas, GEPnet overall. And what they did was in patients who had a KI67 more than 10%, 10 to 55, so grade two higher risk and grade three patients were included, and they found that doing radioligand therapy up front was better than SSA. Now, I'm not surprised at that result. It's an effective therapy, right? But the problem with neuroendocrine tumors, it's very heterogeneous. A KI-67 of 10%, maybe that it's the, 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 just the biopsy sample you took was 10%, everything else was 2%. Error, it was 10 and the, everything else was 40%. So I think you need to know the trajectory of the disease. I rarely ever do PRRT as the first thing. I see a patient and I typically just, because if they are very symptomatic and they're pancreatic nets and they're very symptomatic from their disease, I would just put them on chemo because that would work in 10 days. If they are not symptomatic and feeling good, I would just put them on a somatostatin analog and see how they do. So I, especially for these higher risk patients, I tend to start a somatostatin analog and do a quick interval scan or see them more closely. And if I think they're getting worse, I bring in PRRT very quickly. But I, I have to say it's very rare that I've actually given um, PRRT up front to anybody. That makes a ton of sense. You got to do a kind of a quick check on what the disease. Yeah, you need to like know your tumor. Right, absolutely. Know their tumor. Absolutely.